Well, I do have this scar on my forehead uh, from when I was like two years old and I was just learning how to walk. I just got home from church. My I got out of my church clothes and you know, church clothes are all very hot, especially in the summer. I don't know why parents would dress their kids up in suits like that. Kind of bad, but uh, I'm running around, excited, and I run into a corner, like two walls, there was a corner right there, and I ran straight into it. And I had to get stitches. People were scared, but I don't really remember I was two. Well, uh, the first time I didn't use a beard trimmer to shave, I mean, uh, that was a little rough, I guess. I was at the Jersey Shore, I was boogie boarding, and um, as I pushed off the sand on the bottom, some unknown demon object decided to lacerate my toe. So I put my foot up on the boogie board to see whether it was uh, bleeding, and it was. It was just like throwing chum overboard for sharks. It was pretty gross. When I was pretty young, I think eight, like eight years old, uh, friends and I, we were always bored and trying to come up with different things to do, and we came up with an idea idea that we'd like I guess race in wagons or somebody would be sitting in it holding the little thing to steer it somebody would be pushing it and we'd always do the same area and in this uh, as, as far as like a path that we'd uh, by a park and at one point in the path it narrows and it's only enough room for one wagon to go down and if you're neck and neck with somebody going into this little like narrow path you, there's gonna be a really bad accident and that's what happened uh, we crashed and um, our, my wagon tipped over and my pinky got stuck underneath it and it kept going and yeah, it just bent and it really hurt. I stubbed my toe once. Uh, there was this one time I was hanging around the, uh, the Kmart parking lot at night. Um, this was back when uh, Kmart just closed. Um, There's a lot of like abandoned equipment around there and we found like this uh, hammer and I threw it into a windshield, not sure why, um, decided it would be fun, and I overextended into the windshield, and I took a small slice out of my finger, and you can see it there. But uh, even though it was just a small slice, I did uh, bleed all the way to my friend's house, and when I got there to finally you know, wash it and uh, take care of the wound. Uh, I actually got dizzy and fell on my ass from the loss of blood. Ah, my toe. I was trying to make a sword out of cardboard with an X-Acto knife. I was cutting toward myself, which was stupid, and I ended up, like, slicing my thumb wide open. You can still see the scar pretty clearly. Uh, it's, like, from here all the way up to here. Just decimated. It was dripping pretty badly. I don't know, my brother used to be a pretty malicious kid when he was in middle school. Uh, about when I was in fifth grade, I don't know, we were uh, making some creepy crawlers and we were cooking those up. And uh, I guess he thought it would be funny that if he threw one of the creepy crawlers on my hand while it was still bubbling. And um, uh, well, I, pre I screamed pretty loudly and then I ran upstairs. And I put under cold water and I was like, oh sweet, like the stuff's going right off. And I looked at it again and realized it was actually my, uh, the white skin that was already dead from the burn. It was uh, just like sloughing off my arm. And my dad came over and was like freaking out about it. And um, I don't know, all I have to really tell about it is I have a scar in my thumb and lower down in my thumb. Um, so I guess it was uh, first grade, like 1995, 96. It was an art class. And they provided us with pencils that were bigger than a normal pencil there. Uh, and they were black, and I'm pretty sure they were lead pencils um, for, I guess, art. Um, and we were using them, and I accidentally stabbed myself in the thumb with it, and um, I, it's still there. And if there's a piece of lead that broke off, and it's still in there, and, and uh, it's not going to come out at all. And it's been there for over, <laughs> over a decade, so, yeah.